Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to look at Lesson 4 in Photoshop Elements. Now we're going to cover the next four tools in the tool palette. That is the red eye reduction, the healing brush or the healing tool, the clone and pattern stamp tool, and then the eraser tool. So let's go ahead and jump right on it. Now the red eye reduction is pretty simple. It goes in and if you click on some area after selecting the red eye tool you can click on any area that's red and what it's going to do is it's going to eliminate that red hue to it. Now most of the time we see that the pupils are red so if you click on the pupils here bad flash or whatever it is. Now if you want to look real close there's still some areas of red so if you kind of click a little bit more around the eye especially right at the edges where there might be some fringing you'll notice that all the red goes away with that red eye reduction. So that's how you use the red eye reduction tool. You can change the pupil size, whatever, right up here using the down arrow and then sliding it back and forth. And you can also change the darken amount, how much you want the red to be darkened right here in the option bar. So let's go ahead and jump onto the next one. I'm going to close that right there not saving that. Now I have a picture that I took up in Charleston and we're going to use one of the two healing brushes. One of them is the hot spot healing brush. Now this one you don't have to select an area first you can just click on something. Right here one of the pixels is either bad or it's a little bit of dust on my picture. And What the spot healing brush does is allows you to just go there and what it will do is it will look around that area when you click on it and it will find all the similar colors and then it will repair that. So I can just click like that and it will get rid of that little dust speck. I've got a little bit of blotch up here. I can just do that and it will automatically find the color for me. Now I'm going to do a couple command Z's to get some of that stuff back and then I'm going to show you the next tool which is just the plain healing brush. Now with a plain healing brush you need to go somewhere and you need to find something that has the same texture. So if we're going to be healing some of these clouds what we want to do is we want to hold down the alt or the option key and we want to hold down one of these areas right in here and click. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to paint and we're going to do a little bit of healing right in there. And then it's going to heal that area right in there. You can still use it with this by going over and holding down the alter option key and coming over here and clicking on a target and then pasting it over there. You can still get rid of these areas but what the healing brush does is it looks for a texture. So maybe you had some sort of a texture that you were trying to match. What you do is you go over to that texture and then you paint on your item that you want to get rid of and then it will match the color for you. The next thing we're going to do is going to go over here. It is the clone and pattern stamp tool. Now the clone stamp tool is pretty easy to use. If I wanted to clone this tree right here I might want to grab a little larger brush. I can use the bracket key to the right to make this a little bit larger and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key down. That selects the little target that we have right here and I click on it. Then I move that over to another area. You can see that there's a little black piece right there and it's going to clone whatever I have. And as you see the little plus mark, you can see that I am cloning that tree. So I'm just going to kind of follow that tree and paint right in there, right on that tree and I could do a much better job but I'm going to select just this tree right there and I'm going to clone it just like that. So there we have a clone of that particular pine tree right there. So that's the clone tool. Let me go ahead and do a command or control Z and then I'm going to show you the pattern tool. I'm going to click on this and go to the pattern tool and then up at the top in the option bar you can see that there's a drop down box and there's a bunch of wonderful patterns here. Now the problem is is what if there isn't a pattern that you like? Well the first thing you have to do is go back to one of the previous tools that we used and that would be the rectangular marquee tool. And then you're going to go and you're going to select a fixed ratio. 
and that fixed ratio is 1 to 1 because you want to have a nice square. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select a pattern of clouds right over in here. I'm going to select that and there we have it. That's a pattern of clouds. Then I can come over and I am going to go under the edit menu and select define pattern from selection. So right there and I'm going to call that one clouds and select OK. Now I can get rid of my marching ants, control D or command D and then I'm going to click on the pattern tool once again and then when I select my drop down box you will now see that there is a new pattern out there and that is called clouds. So if I wanted to paint with this particular pattern I could make my brush just a little bit larger and I could just paint with that and it's going to paint a pattern of clouds right in here. Now of course it does do some tiling right here because you're only, you've only selected a square area to this, a very small square area. And there are ways to get rid of these tile patterns and I'll cover that just a little bit later in another tutorial. But right now I'm just taking you through all the tools in the tool palette. Alright, let's hit the Command Z or Control Z. Let's go ahead and get rid of those clouds. Let's go ahead and take a look at the eraser tools. The very first eraser tool is just your standard eraser. Now, right off the bat, this layer is locked. So if I try to erase with that, you'll notice that it leaves a blue mark. And that's because this is a background layer. And what it's going to do is it's going to fill in your background color when you try to erase. Let's go ahead and hit the Command Z right there. So if you're trying to erase on a layer that's locked and you don't want to unlock it, you can go to the next tool, which is this one right here, the background eraser tool. Now this time when I erase, you'll see that there's a checkerboard pattern right there. And after I finish erasing, you'll notice that there is no lock right here. It has to do that because now you've just converted your background layer into a standard layer that's hovering and it has now a transparency to it. Now why are the transparencies important? If you want to have a, a logo or an icon or a patch or something like that, you can erase the entire background, leave just the patch, save it out as a PNG file, and then you'll able to, you're able to put that into PowerPoint presentations or whatever you want to and there won't be any background to it. Let's go ahead and do the Command Z a couple times and let's go to the last eraser tool which is the magic eraser. And what that's going to do is when you click on an area it's going to erase pixels of the same color. So if I click on this blue it's going to get rid of all the sky. Now of course we have some clouds down here and those have a little bit different color so if I click on these areas it's going to start getting rid of some of the rest of the background right there so it's kind of a cool thing to be able to get rid of these backgrounds really easy using the background eraser tool. So that's all we have for today the red eye tool, the spot healing and the regular healing brush this one's just for spots and specks usually and this one is if you want to match a texture and a color this one we had a single clone if you're gonna clone something singly like a tree or something and then the other one is the pattern stamp which you can select and a pattern from this drop down box and actually create one using the rectangular marquee tool. Last we covered the eraser tool, standard eraser tool if you're on a regular layer if not it puts a background color on things the background eraser tool which actually erases the background and leaves this transparent pattern and last but not least the magic eraser tool which goes ahead and erases everything of the same color. This is Chucky if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos give me a thumbs up and tell your friends where you found this video. Cheers!